Hey everybody. My regular viewers know that I tend to gear my videos towards the beginner fish keeper, the person that's relatively new in the hobby. And recently that actually kind of came into conjunction with something I had asked. I did a poll on my channel for people to find out whether you wanted to hear more of my uh, stories about my personal experiences and just different things that, you know, my perspective on fish keeping and so on and so forth. And while the vast majority of you said yes, a significant number said no. And that takes me back to my great debate that I've always had in all of my videos is do you want to look at my face or do you want to just listen to what I'm saying and look at my fish? And so eventually I decided that it's probably a good idea to put my face out there once in a while. It is nice for people to be able to identify who they're talking to or identify with who they're talking to and have a, you know, a face to match to the voice and all that kind of stuff. So I try to mix it up about 75, 25. Um, you know, most of my videos are still me just pointing the camera at my tanks, but I do shoot some with me, obviously, sitting in front of the camera. Uh, so you get to see me while I'm talking. But I got to thinking and wondering the other day, how many of you watched my videos with the volume muted completely and simply look at my fish? And this may sound odd, but believe it or not, that's the way I used to look at a lot of YouTube videos. I'll admit, I don't really look at a lot of YouTube videos at all when it comes to fish keeping anymore. That was more or less my learning curve in the beginning. Now I spend more time doing my own thing and shooting my own videos and so on and so forth. And I genuinely don't look at a lot of other people's uh, YouTube fish keeping videos. So I'm sort of out of the zeitgeist as far as what the general community is doing these days. But back in the beginning when I was looking uh, for fish and different types of fish, what I wanted to find out most of all, more often than not, was what the fish looked like, how big it got, and how it interacted with other fish. You know, can I mix this kind of fish with that kind of fish? That was always my biggest concern when I was looking to buy new fish. I always wanted to know whether they would get along or not. So I'd find videos that would have, you know, an angelfish and a garami in a tank. I didn't care what the person was talking about. They're telling me about the kind of gravel they're using or what kind of filter they've got on the back. All I wanted to see was the fish. And so I would listen to music or whatever, and I would just turn the volume down and look at the fish. And I'd look at these aquariums and I'd get ideas of how people scape them. And I'd get ideas of what these fish look like and how active they were, you know, how they interacted with other fish. That was what I wanted to find out. And since nobody really told me those things, they did show me, you know, if I could see their aquarium, that's what I looked at. And I didn't really care what they were doing. So when I shoot videos about my fish, I generally don't do the regular um, care parameters. You can look that up in a hundred different places. It'll tell you what kind of water temperature, pH, that sort of thing. What I always focus on trying to tell people is my experience with them. This is what it's like owning these fish. They're really frantic or they're not very active or they're jumpers or they're nippers or whatever. My experience with them is what I try to share because again, you can look up the care parameters in a hundred different places and find all the exact same information. And in fact, most of the videos you see are people that have simply gone and on seriously fish or planted catfish or one of the other main resources that we all use. And more or less, it's the video equivalent of copying, pasting um, information from another site. So again, if, if that's what you're looking for, I generally don't do those kind of videos, but I will share my experience with those kind of fish. And so I'm always looking to find that right blend of video. And really, there's no point to this video other than just wondering how many of you actually watch my videos uh, with the volume muted because you don't care what I'm talking about. You just want to see what's going on in my tanks and see how the fish interact uh, or whatever. I know I'm long winded. I tend to drone on. Uh, I think that's a quality that my viewers either appreciate or they don't really stay my viewers. And so I don't really worry too much about that for the people that don't really like my style of video. That's, you know, I, I'm, I am who I am. I'm not really gonna be able to change that. But as far as, you know, wanting to see more of me or hear more of me, that's where I always am interested in, you know, what kind of video do you want to see uh, more frequently? And right now I try to mix it up, like I said, about 75% of just, you know, shooting videos of looking at stuff and maybe 25% of them thereabouts. I always try to sit down in front of the camera at least a couple times a week. Um, so you all get to see my face. So again, just out of curiosity, how many of you watch my videos on mute? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I'd like to hear your opinions and thoughts about all this kind of stuff so I can always improve my videos for your viewing pleasure. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you listened to it. And I'll see you real soon in the next one. Thanks a lot.